Welcome to DHS Informatics. In this video, we are going to say about a machine learning project, very interesting project, credit card default prediction in imbalanced data set. We can able to call another name for this project is a credit card fraud deduction. What is meant by default prediction? Default, defaulter means you will not make the payment. That is called defaulter. So that based on the previous behavior, we can able to going to judge whether the next month due, whether he is going to make payment or he is not going to make the payment, whether he is a defaulter or, or properly is going to make a person that we can able to detect. We can able to match this project with the two papers. One is the IEEE paper and another one is the Hindwai paper. Research on credit card default prediction based on came in SMOT and a BP neural network. BP means a back propagation neural network. We can do develop this project with the neural network also. In this video, I am going to show about machine learning only. But you want the requirement of the neural network, we can do the uh, back propagation neural network. We can do that is also possible. This is a 2021 paper. You are saying that it is a March 2021 paper. Good. Coming to the project, usually all the machine learning project we are developing majority in the Python and the front end with the Flask framework. The Python we are developing the project with the Jupyter Notebook. First we will create the model with the help of the Jupyter Notebook. What the model we created that will be connected with the front end Flask framework. Then we will show the demonstration. The testing part will be done on the Flask framework. Okay. Now, here the project detail is given that is a data set detail. This is a data set detail. Actually, they are giving that the ID of the person and what is the is a balance limit is sex, education, marriage, age. Here you can see now payment 0 to 6, last 6 months, how much he has to pay and uh, how much, what is the bill amount and how much he paid. That will be the things. Okay. Now, this is a pay 0 to 6 is a a repayment status whether he paid or not one means paid dually okay minus one means paid dual and one means paid uh, delay for one month two means paid delay for two months eight means payment delay for eight months like this will be given the pay zero zero to six is a how is behavior on the last six payment and bill payment one to bill payment six are the what is the bill payment and the amount previous payment in the September 2000, it is a old data set, they are keeping that the, what is the payment in the September he made, how much he paid in August like that he given, okay. And this is a default payment, next month is going to, 1 means he is going to default, yes, 0 means he will not give the default, he will going to make the payment genuinely. There are 25 parameters are there, based on that we have to develop the model. We are loading the data set. All the things are there in this data set. It will show that the first top uh, 10 rows it is showing that. And here this is a 1 means going to default, 0 means a genuine is going to make the payment. And uh, what we are going to do means uh, we, we are going to check for the null value, removing the null values and other thing will do. And we are uh, comparing the size. Uh, it is imbalanced data set. Uh, genuine people are more, uh, defaulters are less. It is imbalanced data set. Uh, in that imbalanced data set, we have to make the accuracy. That is a big challenge. So that you can give the thing, the validation transaction will be 77.9 people are paying correctly. 22% only making the default. That is a fraud. And we are making one analysis. Uh, the male, how many people are making valid transaction and a female how many. Compared to the male, females are making a valid transaction more. And the fraud cases will be... Uh, because female in our data set, uh, female female having the more data, more transaction than the male, like the data set we are having, so that it will be coming like that. Based on the education, also we can able to analyze the data, and uh, then based on the marriage also, unknown how much is there. Some people will not tell whether it's married or not, uh, married, single, divorce, based on that how many records we are having, and uh, we are going to have the age wise. Uh, how many records we are having? Majority of the people using the credit cards are between 22 years to 
maximum 38 years or 30 the 40 years only the maximum this range only uh, the people are using a credit card and uh, we are going to split the data set into 80% and 20% we develop the two model the first model is a random forest model with the help of the random forest model we got the accuracy 81% and it is a classification report we are giving 81% and a confusion matrix for the random forest model the another model is a decision tree model in this decision tree model we are getting 71% only compared to decision tree random forest is better okay that two both the models we are saving both the models we will save it into the folder models once these models are stored uh, and then we have to use this model in a front end here you want you can able to register and you don't want to register you can already have the user ID go to the login page I have, I have the registration now we created one test data in this test data we have to give the number okay for example I'm giving one number four fourth record it will fetch it is going to tell that whether this person is a fraud or not it is going to tell that he is going to be make the defaulter that is he is a fraud like that will be tell and similarly I'll back and I'm giving another record 440 it is telling is not fraud he is a not fraud he is, a, he is going to make the payment genuinely like that we can able to analyze in the thing by entering the customer ID we can able to identify whether the person is a fraud or not a fraud we can able to identify like that we can do this project hope you enjoyed this video uh, not only this uh, project you want any project related to machine learning or deep learning or GAN that is a generative uh, adversarial network or any complex projects also please approach us we will develop the project very nice quality and we will support you by giving the source code deploying in your system and giving you the report for ppt knowledge transfer and we will support you until the last day of your review thanks for listening this video if this video is useful uh, you want this to get this uh, project means call our contact number 9886-92401 or you can call 9845166723 okay thanks for listening this project thank you